Hello and welcome back to Charlie Brook South East. I'm Stephen and this is another sorry this is another um, new layer update the cardboard baseboard. Today is one job and I'll be fixing the middle struts on which go in here. As you probably noticed I've got a little bit of a problem with a bit of a bow but I might be able to sort that out. It's cardboard so I might get a bow back. Not like we Right, I've had to take the nozzle off because it's dried at the end here. So to save time, I'm just going to use this because I need a big amount anyway. So, right, here goes. Right, I think that's done. I've got a uh, bit of messy finger syndrome here. Um, so I'm going to leave that to dry now. I won't be able to put the track back on it. Leave it all to dry. I've got to get some more of this because that's sort of basically nearly empty now. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is um, what I've just done sort of here with the filling of it. I'm going to use it because it does say it's a good filler. I'm going to put it all on the inside here, other side and then along this outside edge and that outside edge just to fill it in. Um, now I did have some questions put to me um, and I'm trying to remember. One was about, I think it's Michael Pemphrey said, am I going to um, Seal it. Yes, well, I've got to find a way to do it because obviously, if I'm going to ballast the track, you're going to be using the watered down PVA. Water, cardboard, hmm, don't mix too well. But if anyone knows of anything that I could use, I mean, in here I've got tons of matte, white matte paint. I think about using that because this stuff, this glue stuff, this glue stuff, this nail stuff, you can paint over, but I wouldn't paint the inside because there'd be nothing in there. It'll be more on the top side where I'm going to have the track. Um, so if anyone has any suggestions on that, I would. Um, matte paint be okay. Dulux, Dulux, I think it is. But it's for ceilings and walls and it's interior paint, so it might not be waterproof. I don't know. I mean, I'm not a decorator, so I wouldn't know. Um, and the other one was, um, I was talking about doing the sides the raised sides, like the back thing type thing and someone said am I going to do anything for the front yes I will be putting something on the front it'll be a, I did comment back but it'll be like a little low wall just to stop if anything day it does do well along the front track that runs across the front it's not going to come off the board it'll just sort of hit that wall um, but I don't want it too high obviously because people need to see the layout um, but and also I was talking about doing the the add-ons. Um, now I don't know whether to use the idea of cassettes. You know, just have like one length of track on a bit of car strength and cardboard, sort of like maybe this width. So that'd be the width of this because that is sort of basically the width of the track. I just have them on bits of cardboard. So slot them on. Sorry, there's a pain. Um, and just add them on, drive the train on, drive the train off, take it off, and I can change. Um, same with the top line. I might just leave, leave fixed track on the top line. I don't know yet. I don't know how I'm going to do that bit. The two lines that I've had might have to be fixed. Um, and I'm looking to try and do it about a foot, otherwise, you're going to start getting too long. Um, I'd say this is about four foot by a foot and a half. Um, 
And I'm just trying to think, is there anything else? Um, I know I had a comment. Um, I think it was Matthew Stamp. Is it Matthew Stamp? Sorry if I've got your name wrong. He said about having the station just on the same level. I did think of that, but obviously I thought it might add to it just to have it raised so that just it's so then it's a different area to the yard. Um, and I do like a bit of a challenge. Um, yeah, so I think that's sort of about it really. And that's all I can do today. So obviously I've got to wait for this to dry now. Um, before I can do anything else. Um, I am going to have it on legs as well. I've got an idea for that, but that'll be in a, another update. Um, but I don't want it too high, because as I say, this is meant to be for for kids. Um, so I'm trying to sort of, you know, just sort of get the next generation into it. So, but there you go. That's that. I'm going to leave it there now and um, I'll put this up tonight hopefully and um, hopefully there might be another one, I'll do another one maybe tomorrow when this is all dry um, and if I get any feedback on what to use as a sealant for the cardboard but yes so there will be four sides to this and it will cover up all the cardboard on the baseboard on the side there just to make it look a bit tidier well, that's it now because I'm running out of room to record. And um, I say please comment. And um, thank you so far for all your support. And I'll see you in the next one, hopefully tomorrow. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. Hi, I'm back. I just wanted to add, I just read some of the comments and Peter Shaw asked me, is the cardboard going to be strong enough? Well, believe it or not, I'm actually laying on the layout. I know I said I'm going to wait for it to dry, but I turned it over. I'm actually laying on it. The only thing that's touching the floor, well, hold on. You see? Boo! All my weight is on the boards. Not anymore, because I've got my elbows down, but I'm still laying on it. Now if I get up, eek! Hold well on, there you go. Look, it's fine. Don't worry about the dents, because I can get them out. But, yes, that's how strong it is. I was actually laying on it. I mean, I weigh about 10 and a half stone, 11 stone. So, um, yeah. And that's all muscle, he <laughs> no. But yeah, so there you go. Just to show you, Peter, and anyone else out there, you know. But that was one thing I was worried about. Is it going to be sturdy enough? Um, but yes, hopefully the top level that I'm going to put on is going to be sturdy enough. So, right, anyway, I am going now. Okay, thank you for watching and goodbye.